Hello everybody, Magic Farm Girl here. Um, today's video will be on a mod that I'm gonna do for my clam auger plate. I finally have gotten all the pieces now to get myself a uh, drill plate. Here's the drill I'll be using, this DeWalt. Um, it's brushless. And what I'm gonna do here is put a spring between this, piece, this shaft here and these fittings here because I've, had, I've used these before and this area right here has no play in it. So when you pull the trigger on, the, on this item here to engage the drill, it is so loose and it just doesn't feel right to me. So I was out on, on YouTube um, oh, for some time doing some research and I found a modification by Crazy Quad um, who did this modification that I'm gonna do today. Real simple, real cheap. Went to Menards here in Wisconsin and I got myself a spring. And I will post a picture of these parts um, so you can get a better idea of what they are. And so I've got a half inch and three and nine sixteenths spring. I've got some wa flat washers, they're stainless steel, um, three A's. There's quantity of eight in here. I don't believe we will not need all of these. And then I got the, the shaft collar. It's a 114th 20 set screw with a 1 8 hex screw. There's the part number on there, and, and that is what it looks like. So I'm going to open this puppy up and get everything together. Uh, the tools I need is some WD-40, and that will be to move this plastic piece that goes on here. Now maybe when I open this up it's not on there, but if it is, I'll use that to loosen that up and get the plastic cover off that. And then I've got some tools here, and i got a pliers here to pull that sleeve off, but this should go pretty quick. Um, all these parts here cost maybe less than $10. I think it was like eight something. And this is the clamp plate. This is not the new one with the modification for the drive. This is the plain old basic one. And then I'll be attaching the auger. Uh, what auger did I get? This is the puppy that I got. I got the eight inch Strike Master um, light flight. And we're gonna attach that to that. And then we'll need another piece to do that, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So let me get this box open. So I'll put this right here, get this open. Um, this is a good reason to get this plate if you're using an auger with a hand drill, because I've got I've used them in the past, and I'm telling you the potential there to break a wrist is there. If you get get caught on some bad ice and that thing jerks, it's not good. Um, so save yourself some. Hospital bills, a trip to the hospital, and some time off from fishing. Uh, get yourself a clam plate. It's probably the best thing you'll do and the best investment you'll make. So, alright. Go so in here. Not a whole heck of a lot to put together. Um, that, that. Here's the plate itself. Pretty clam blue. And plastic sleeve is on here so I'm gonna get some WD-40 and pull that out um, before we get going so okay one thing I do like to do is lay all the parts out this is what I've got as far as hardware pieces and it all kind of looks like it all goes together here this is nothing too complicated um, but we'll see how this goes so I'm gonna get this off and then disconnect this and then get the, the spring inside here and those um, those couplers in here and then that mechanism will help move that place. So let me oh, I'll need a Phillips head here to loosen this up. Uh, Alright so I need a Phillips head screwdriver and a 3 a ratchet to unloosen this screw here. Yep, yeah. easy. Take these together so I know which is where. Okay, so the plan here is I put this towel here and I'm going to drip it, the WD-40, right there and hopefully it'll go down in there and let me be able to pull this off. Okay, I did get the cap off. So I really kind of drenched 
down in the socket there, um, the WD-40. Then I went and got my blow dryer, put it on hot a little bit, just to soften this up a little bit, and it popped right off. So we're moving forward. So another part of this too, you'll have to take this ring off again. The three eighths right there. Take that puppy off. making ice here. It's finally gotten in the 20s and the teens, but last week it was in the 40s, which ice here has been all over the place, and it's almost the end of January, so. Alright, we'll screw this off. So that's off now. So, so now, what I'm gonna do is, okay, so I got everything laid out here in the sequence that this has to go back on this piece here that goes on the clamp plate. So you got your, cu your coupler, a washer, your spring, a washer. This part that goes on the plate itself that came with the, the plates that I just took off here and another couple. So we'll start feeding it from this end to go around the, the curve and it'll stop right here because it, nothing, none of that stuff will go over that. So I would lay that out in sequence. You've got to feed it. It would make this go a little bit easier and you won't have to, you know, try to figure out what you did or didn't do wrong. So this is the sequence in which it'll go back on here, starting from the short end on here. So let me get to that. Right, so I got everything back together. It's all loosely fitted. I did again come back with the hair dryer and soften this up a little bit and it slid down here to the end. So we're good to go. Um, so that's what you got right there. And that's it. So right now it's just a matter of putting this all back together and then making the adjustments. And then um, let me get going here. Again, I'm going to follow the clam uh, directions on here. Right? I mean, why would anyone want to do that? I don't know. But here we go. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. Install the brackets and get all this put together. And then once I get it put together, I'll show you how it all kind of makes sense. Um, you know, for those of you that, you know, already have the clamp plate, it's just a matter of taking this off. You know, 10 bucks. It's just, you know, maybe an hour of your time. You know, probably less than that. But um, just to get her all going and, you know. This is where we're at, so can't be happier so far. This is pretty darn easy. Okay, here's a note when you start putting this back in. Don't really tighten it down too much. Just get it in there, and you got to get it back in the position where this is the, the action that you're going to have um, going there. So the, this has to be perpendicular with the word clam, and so this action still can happen. So the height on this will probably need to be tweaked a little bit, but don't tighten it down the way it came in here when you first opened it up if, you, if you're going from a new clam plate. So the next part I'll be doing is putting this guy on here like so. So I'll get that screwed together. All right, so here we are so far. Um, Phillips head screwdriver with a... This is a 7 16th ratchet right here. Went on really easy. So I'm not gonna, these aren't really tight that much, so adjustments can be made. So we'll move on to the next step. So we got the tower on. So next part will be installing the trigger assembly, which will be this thing here to this, I'm sure. So yeah, so here we go. All right, got puppy help. So anyway, so here's a note. When you're putting this back together, make sure that your handle's pointed in the center. I originally, when I started doing it, it was flipped on the outside, which meant when it was all put together with the, um, the drill, I wouldn't have been able to pull the trigger. So again, make sure that the short handle is facing inside, so where you grab it, you'll be able to grab it because otherwise it was sitting up on here and it was not a good thing so all right we're slowly getting this together and i'm having a little puppy help here yeah 
This is Emma. Say hi, Emma. Anyways, she's nine weeks today. So, she wants down. See ya! Okay, so I got everything loosely put together. So I got my drill mounted on here. Um, I had to make it to the point where it's even so the trigger will be engaged. I have not set the position of this mechanism here to have the trigger really scope with the spring. So I think I got everything where I want it. Um, if you hold this up on end, it just rests on the trigger of the, of the drill. So now I've got to tighten everything up and fine tune it. And once I get it tuned up right, I'll show you how it all works. And then we'll put on the auger piece um, and show you the whole thing. So this is where I'm at so far. So, so far, so good. This is a pretty easy project. Just give yourself some time. Um, you know, if you're going to you have 10 minutes to do it, I would not attempt to do this because you should just get frustrated. So um, just give yourself some time. Okay, so I still got some play here, and I think I'm going to add some washers here to eliminate that movement right there. So um, I'm going to take this apart and put some washers there and see if that helps. Okay, there was a little bit of play uh, left and right on this thing. So what I ended up doing is adding from that packet of eight, I put two more washers on the back end here to eliminate the swaying back and forth here. And I also added two more washers on the bottom here, one on each side of this, this bar coming down. So that seemed to have eliminated that rattle a little bit and made this more of a solid connection uh, to the trigger here. I'm gonna tighten this down a little bit more. There's a little bit of play here, but, um, but the washers here, back in here has really helped a lot. Not perfect, but much better. So time to tighten the sucker up and uh, we'll get the auger piece on. All right, I can show you where we're at right now. So everything is pretty solid. Um, it's not loose, which is good. And this is what it looks like all the way around. So if you pull the trigger, it releases. So I don't have that play left and right that it had originally out of the box. So. So far, so good. So now, what I need to do to add the striker light flight is put this piece on this adapter here. If the auger piece will not fit over this. You need this adapter. Uh, this has been upgraded from, I think, previous years. Before, it used to just say the K-Drill adapter. Now, Strike Master 2, so make sure you look for that. I don't know if the one from the previous year even works, but I would look for the one that has the Strike Master on there. So this will be the last piece to attach to this to put the auger on. So how this attached was that this piece here slid over the uh, shaft here, and then this bolt here, which has a hex nut here, goes all the way through the attachment here. And I'm not even sure what size this is. What I do know is that when I go on the ice, I'm gonna have to have these hex nuts with me just in case something happens. But this is pretty, pretty tight here. So now the auger will slip over here, screw go in here, and then we should be good to go. So let me unbox the strike master. Here are my final thoughts on my project today. Um, initially, this really was to put the spring in here, and I kind of went step by step. Uh, a lot of the play has been taken away by adding some extra washers in here, as I stated earlier. And I did get the light flight um, eight inch auger and this will mount on my ATV and carry in the sled if I don't take the ATV out. But um, don't be afraid to do this project. Just give yourself some time, and I'm sure you probably can do a better job than I have. Um, you know, for 10 bucks, it just makes this a heck of a lot better. Um, and you know, just take your time. It's a real simple and really nice mod. Um, you really can't mess this up, but I'm always looking for ways to make things better. I'm not sure why Clan doesn't do this in the first place, but um, but you can. So and all again, these can be tweaked. Great project, and hope you all enjoy this. There are much better videos out there. Um, again, thanks to Cra uh, Crazy Quaddy. Um, he has a great video on how to do this. That's where I picked it up from. I think his was probably the best out there, and I'll reference and put a link in the video below um, if you just need to see more. But you know, Google this, it's out there. A lot of people have been doing it and there's no reason why you shouldn't either. So good luck ice fishing.
Okay, so to wrap this up, that's my project. This is my new fishing buddy. She's only nine weeks old, but uh, she's got an attitude, there's no doubt. But anyways, so get yourself the clam plate. Don't hurt yourself out there with your, your augers. And uh, go get some fish. Peace.